Okay, so before I start, it's so nice to see you again, actually, yes, after the three years. And uh, so, what's for today? Uh, for today, uh, we will talk about improvements in Zabbix 6.2, uh, the new uh, host prototypes, yes, the new possibilities, what you can do with host prototypes. But before I start, I think there will, will be one big question, yes, what are the host prototypes, yes, what, what are and, and where we are using them. So basically those uh, prototypes, they are blueprints. They are blueprints and when, once you define the blueprint, after that hosts will be created automatically. Sounds wonderful, right? Okay, let's uh, look uh, technically how it works. So you need to know a little bit about the LLD, low level discovery. Yes, you have a host, you define low level discovery rule, and then the rule will start discovering. So first, you will find maybe some items, you may find some triggers, you may find some graphs, and you can find some information which may be used to define another host. So basically, you are using a host, you are gathering information, and at the end, you are using this information to create more hosts. Yes, using the host prototype and assigning templates. So this is how it works. Uh, how it looks in Zabbix, so you have the LLD, yes, you have all those item trigger prototypes, and also, you can define in this column, yes, you can define the host prototypes. And uh, this is how they look. Yes, this is how they look. The host, uh, you define some name, visible name, templates. Uh, we will discuss it a little bit uh, later. And this is the final result. Yes, so if everything is defined properly, then host will be discovered after the LLD execution, and you will have a lot of really nice hosts uh, starting, uh, beginning uh, in uh, orange color. Yes, this is the rule which created them, and then you have all those hosts, which more or less work like any other host. Yes, but the bigger benefit is you are not creating them manually. Yes, there is some process which is creating this for you, and you can just sit and enjoy the result. Uh, okay, so example uh, in Zabbix 6.2. This is the host which will be created automatically by Zabbix from the host prototype. And you can see that most of the fields are read-only. Yes, uh, why they are read-only? Because uh, this is this is how they are defined in the prototype. But what's new? You can see here, and this one is not grayed out, which, mean, which, which means you can assign a template, by example, yes? And there are much more possibilities, which I will explain uh, uh, in, in next slides. Okay, so first, to create hosts, you need to begin with LLD, Yes, and then you need to define the host prototype. So how they are de uh, defined? Look here, it's pretty simple. Yes, so you are defining how the host will be created. You need to define a name, uh, optionally a visual name, assign some templates, some host groups, maybe some group prototypes, and based on this, uh, your host will be created. Now, you may ask, what are those, uh, what are those hashes? You, you can see here some hash UID or hash name, so from where they are coming. Those are LLD macros, the low-level discovery macros, which you can use in the host prototypes to define the host. Yes, and here you can see an example for VMware. And uh, you may ask, okay, but from where, from where I can get those macros, yes? And uh, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but uh, low-level discovery in Zabbix is based on JSON, yes? So every time you are doing the low-level discovery, you must have some JSON data. 
And once you have a JSON data, inside the JSON, you can define those uh, macros. Yes, you can see here in a red color an example uh, how the LLD macros are defined. And then, based on such JSON, all the hosts will be created. Yes, you have uh, UID, you have name for one host, and then you have the same information for other hosts also. Um, additional properties. So Zabbix is constantly improving. Yes, so host prototypes were involved like many, many versions ago, but uh, they are improving. In, in, in version 5, it was possible to define user macros. In 5.2, it was possible to define tags. Uh, and you can uh, use LLD macros here, or, or you can use just some regular data. Yes, But the biggest problem was that those fields uh, were read only on the host which was created. Yes, you know the problem, so you, you, you define the host prototype, and the host prototype uh, created a lot of hosts, but using the same rules. Yes, the rules were the same, and there was no possibility to modify something. Yes, and, uh, and uh, yes, so Zabbix 6.2 improves this. Also, uh, there is a possibility when you create a host prototype to use the parent interface or to define a custom interface. Yes, because there are different scenarios. Sometimes all the hosts must share the same interface. Sometimes they have different interfaces. Yes, maybe you have Zabbix agents deployed there. Yes, maybe the host you are discovering have Zabbix agent, and then you can uh, assign custom interface and add agent interfaces. Yes, for, for, for every of the prototypes. Um, yes, and not only agent. Yes, uh, any any kind of uh, any kind of interface uh, can be created. So, let's talk about the main topic. What are the improvements here? Yes. So previous versions. Yes, this is previous versions. This is not bad. This is still very useful. But you can see grayed out, grayed out, uh, template linked, and nothing can be changed. Yes, all the hosts will look the same. So, 6.2. First, you can assign a custom template. Yes, maybe you are discovering a lot of hosts, and some host has specific applications. Maybe some, ho some host will have a database. Maybe some, some host will have some other service. So, the host will be created automatically, and uh, after that, you can customize them. Yes, you can add more templates. Yes, like in this example, Let's say this machine has some application named Ceph, and uh, yeah, we can assign a template manually. Also, we can adjust tags. Yes, so you can define some common tags on a prototype level, but after those hosts are created, for some machines you can add your own tags. Yes, and, and this is very important because I think you have noticed that with every next Zabbix version, tags are becoming more and more important. Yes, so we replaced applications with tags. Uh, the business services are fully based on tags. Yes, and you can de do many more things with tags. So this feature, which gives you possibility to customize the hosts, is very, very uh, nice and important. Yes, so this grayed out is coming from the prototype, and then this one, the, the white one, as you can see here, is just something you added. Next, so you can also play with user macros. Yes, so uh, you will assign a template, the host prototype will inherit everything from the template, but later you can customize it. Yes, you can go to any host created from the prototype, and uh, you can change a password, you can change a port, you can change a threshold, so you can uh, change uh, whatever you need. Yes. So in general, you can assign templates, you can uh, customize tags, 
and you can uh, change user macros if you need. Yes, change values or you can add even more macros. Yes. Okay, so I think I gave you some idea what is what are the host prototypes. Yes, so how the hosts are created, how you can modify. Now let's talk a little bit how they are used and how you can use this functionality. Yes. So uh, first, uh, let's start again. So you have a host, right? You have a low-level discovery rule. Then you have a host prototype, which is creating hosts for you, right? And on those hosts, which are created from the prototype, yes, you can have more low-level discovery. Yes, so, so basically you have a LLD rule, which creates, uh, which has a host prototype, which creates hosts, and inside the hosts, another LLD may discover some metrics. Yes, of course, you know it's not possible to create uh, hosts from host prototypes inside those LLDs. That will be too crazy, too crazy to manage. Yes, but but you can see they they work like normal hosts, and you can discover a lot of things. So what we can offer today is VMware. Yes, so VMware monitoring using host prototypes was uh, introduced already in version three, or maybe even uh, earlier. Yes, but it was here already in version three. And you know, yes, you have a hypervisor. Zabbix uh, collects data from the hypervisor. And then all your virt virtual machines will be created automatically. So nothing really new. Okay, what's new is uh, we are focusing more and more on the cloud monitoring, yes? And you can not only deploy Zabbix using cloud, but you can also monitor your clouds very easily using Zabbix. So there is a template provided by us, which is named Azure by HTTP, yes? And if you will look closer, you will find that this one has host prototypes, which means you need to create a host, just a single host, which will connect to your Azure instance. And after that, using the host prototypes, all your virtual machines uh, from Azure Cloud will be monitored. Yes, so for every machine, uh, a new host will be created. AWS, yes, the same is uh, uh, implemented for AWS. You can see here an example. Yes, we have the template, AWS by HTTP. So you are uh, monitoring your, your instance. And you look here, yes, and here are the prototypes. So you have prototypes for AC2 instances. You have prototypes for, uh, for uh, uh, remote database and uh, also, also for something else. Yes, so it's very simple, very simple. One template, one host, and everything will be monitored automatically. And if you need, you can uh, customize something. And Kubernetes, yes, the very hot topic, Kubernetes, the monitoring is implemented in the same way. Yes, all those, all those kubelets, schedulers, uh, control managers, and, and other things will be created f fully automatically. Yes, you need one host, one template. After that, Zabbix will discover, and using the host prototypes, uh, your host will be created. And, okay, so basically there are no limitations. Yes, the examples which I showed to you today are pretty simple. Yes, so you have some kind of, some kind of uh, cloud provider or hypervisor, and you are creating hosts. Yes, you are creating hosts automatically. But uh, the host prototypes can be used for other purposes. Yes, because basically uh, you are just creating hosts, and host in Zabbix can be anything. Yes, host is just a container for, for a data. And maybe if you have a host with 10,000 items, maybe you can split the host in multiple hosts. Yes, just for logical grouping. There are other benefits, yes, because uh, the hosts created from prototypes, they are uh, like real hosts, 
Yes, and, and you can assign permissions which means maybe you can, you, you, you can split them. Maybe some information will be accessible to some users and not accessible to, to other users, yes? And, and, and many, many, many uh, other possibilities, yes? So that's all from me for, 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 for today. And yes, tomorrow we will have a workshop. We will have a workshop very early and you are very, very welcome. Yes, you are very, very welcome. We will have a simple setup, and I will show you how to create hosts using just some file. Yes, you will have a file, and, and we will create a host. Um, everything will be provided by us. You just need to bring your notebook with you. Yes, so bring your notebook. Everything else will be provided by us. Thank you very much.